Good morning. Today we will see the supplementary examination of 2021, April 2021 of the Nursing Education Old Scheme, that is 2010 scheme. So the first question was define micro teaching and explain the phases of micro teaching. We can see two definitions. First is by Allen D. W. 1996. Micro teaching is a scaled down teaching encounter in a class size and class time. And second, we can see a definition by Ms. Bush R. That means the micro teaching. Micro teaching is a <coughs> teacher education technique which allows the teacher to apply clearly defined teaching skills to carefully prepared lessons in a planned series of 5 to 10 minutes encounter with a small group of real students often with an opportunity to observe the result in a video tape. So the phases of micro teaching by N.K. Janjira and Ajit Singh present three phases. These phases, first one is a knowledge acquisition phase, skill acquisition phase and transfer phase and these three phases of micro teaching represented by J. J. C. Clift and others in 1996 that are phase 1 that is a knowledge acquisition skill or we can call it as a pre-active phase and second is a skill acquisition phase that means the interactive phase and transfer phase which is now called as a post-active phase. We will see the phases each one by one. First is a knowledge acquisition phase. It includes the orientation the concept of we have to teach the students about the micro what is a micro teaching rational of using a micro teaching procedure of micro teaching requirements and settings for adopting micro teaching merits and demerits of micro teaching and step two include discussion of the teaching skill which teaching skill they have to do in a particular micro teaching that means an analysis of teaching into combo components discussion of rational and role of these teaching skills and step three selection of a particular teaching skill the teaching skills are to be practiced by taking them one at a time. And teacher trainee during these steps should also provide with necessary orientation and processing material for practicing the skill. And step 4, presentation of a model demonstration lesson. And this state is known as modeling because demonstration of a desired behaviors relating to a teaching skill for imitation by observers. And model lesson can be given in a number of ways like by providing implementing this handbooks, videotapes. Step 5. Observation of a model lesson and criticism. At this stage, what is read, viewed, listened and to observe through the modeling source is carefully analyzed by the trainees. And step 2 is or phase 2 is a skill acquisition phase and an interactive phase. Step 6. Preparation of a micro lesson plan. Step 7. Creation of a micro teaching setting. That means number of students should be in the class should be maximum 10. The type of people that means the real people, the means people, preferably the peer. Then type of supervisors, the teacher educators or peers. Time duration, usually it is a 6 minutes and practice of teaching skill. And step 9 is a feedback. Feedback is provided to trainee in the component teaching behavior, emphasizing the skill under practice. And step 10, replanning. Step 11, reteaching. And reteach sessions again performed by the pupil teacher. Step 12, re-feedback. And step 13, repetition of a micro teaching cycle. And phase 3 is the transition phase, transfer phase of the post active phase single integration of the teaching skills. Second question is what is evaluation? List the principles of evaluation and explain different types of evaluation. The evaluation is the process determining what extent the educational objective have been realized by Ralph Taylor. And it is a systematic examination of an educational social programs. It is a definition given by Cornback. And principles of evaluation first determining and classifying what is to be evaluated always have a priority in the evaluation process. The objective must be clearly stated before evaluation is made. A technique should be selected in terms of purpose to be served. Comprehensive evaluation requires variety of evaluation techniques. No single evaluation techniques are adequate to evaluate various outcomes. Proper use of evaluation techniques require awareness of their limitation as well as their strength. Evaluation is a means to an end, not an end in self. Evaluation procedures must contribute to improved decisions of instructions, guidance and administrative nature. Adequacy of experience should be made in terms of excellence of performance and quality of experience. Record for practice should reflect the objectives of practice and give evidence to the extent of achievement of this objective. 
the different types of evaluation there are many two type that is based on the time based on the time it is summative and formative evaluation summative evaluation is commonly a type of evaluation it comes at the end of the term course of the program of teaching done at the end of any program or instruction of the course term or semester annual examination half yearly examination in the school public examination or the exam so such evaluation it is called the external assessment it is used to assign grades for the students achievement which can be used for promotion the next grade and judgment of high and low performers within a certain group for passing or failing in the examination formative evaluation is a ongoing continuous evaluation it is an ongoing continuous evaluation conducted during the learning process in order to improve the teaching learning process and the students learning outcome by this evaluation teacher can modify the teaching learning methods and students can improve their learning by counseling to modify teaching style and based on the manner in which interrupt the result of the learner performance there are two type of evaluation criteria and preference that this determine whether the student have achieved the specific skill or components in each in this each individual is compared with preset standards and performance of other students are irrelevant then second one is norm reference evaluation in this assessment the test score are compared with the person's performance similar to others similar educational background this can be used as a preliminary tool before making the actual evaluation tool in in this instead of looking at the actual score of the student we see how well the student in relation to others other types are include diagnostic evaluations like structure evaluation process evaluation and outcome evaluation short note the first one is principles of discipline in harmony with total goals of education based on and controlled by love not by fear positive and constructive ensure quality of justice to all respect for individual rights and dignity and humanitarian treatment of the same mean for successful implementation of the educational program disciplinary policies and procedures should be primarily preventive secondly corrective and never retributive situation specific disciplinary actions for by counseling and it is something the teacher helps the students to attain not the something which teacher maintain discipline in person make it talk in private relate the act of misconduct of the act of corrections avoid corrective punish corrective punishment never allow disciplinary procedures to interfere with the education opportunity serious cases only to be referred for them seek professional advice if needed factors affecting learner the factors affecting learner include the factors associated with learner learner's physical and mental health basic potential of the learners the level of aspiration achievement and motivation goal of life and readiness and will power second the type of experience or training required for the modification of learner's behavior include the nature of learning experience whether it is well planned formal or informal direct or indirect the methodology of teaching then men material and resource needed for providing desired experience quality of the teacher social emotional climate available in the institution availability of appropriate learning materials availability of proper conducive environment and learning situations like proper teach seating arrangement calm and peaceful environment management and control provision of proper change rest and recreation importance of simulation method it is a teaching technique used particularly in the management of education and training in which real life situation and values are sim- simulated by substitute dis- displaying the similar characteristics it's an accurate representation of a realistic situation the users include when the learners experience the situation through simulation they have clear understanding of variable inherent to situation that can relate to them to clinical experience a simulation allows for realistic learner involvement learners actually experience their real life situation or its consequence learners are allowed to practice rather than telling them how to do it aim of education there are utilitarian aim vocational aim social aim intellectual aim democratic citizenship physical health and well being character development according to gandhi ji education the, the values habit essential for building desirable character and the character development is the supreme function of an education supreme aim of education other aim include development of personality development of leadership cultural development social realization mental and emotional development autonomous development self education international understanding harmonious development education for leisure time individual aim knowledge aim and morality aim 
Unit plan. A unit can be defined as a purposeful learning experience focused on a behavior of the learner and en enable him to adjust to a situation. It is a large subdivision of the subject matter. <coughs> Characteristic of a good lesson plan include they organize various learning activities or experience around central problem. A good unit should be suitable to the needs, provision of variety of learning experience like clinical posting, contribute to the development of the students as far as possible interrelated topics included based on the students past experience, sound base for evaluation and resources are mentioned in the unit plan. Types of unit include subject matter unit, experience unit, teaching unit, process unit and resource unit. Steps in the unit plan. First, we have to do a content analysis by terms of con concepts, facts, principle, laws, situations, relationship. It helps the teacher to have a thorough knowledge about the subject matter. Objectives with specifications can be realized through the content analysis. Learning activities, teacher individual difference and psychology of people will be considered in choosing learning activities. Testing procedure, type of evaluation tools and techniques are mentioned. Enumerate the following. First one is a type of objective test item. The first one is matching test. Under a column A, certain books and under B, the names of certain authors may be given. Write down the names of right authors under the column. Then multiple choice, true or false test, correct or incorrect. Then simple recall test, write one word answer for a particular question. Best answer, put the mark against the best answer. Completion test, fill the blank by the appropriate word. Classification test, in each line, underline the word does belong to the group, otherwise called odd one out. Then, role of a teacher in naturalism. Teacher's role behind the scene. Instead of passive transfer of knowledge, teacher should arrange the environment necessary for the personal development of the child and guide or direct the child as when needed by the adopting the role of a director or facilitator. Purpose of lesson planning is keep teacher on the track, ensure steady progress in the classroom and gives definitive outcome of teaching and learning process. It helps the teacher to be systematic and orderly and improves his way of presentation, ensures the organization of subject matter and other related activities, helps the continuity and interconnectedness of subject matter and prevent repetition, helps the use of appropriate teaching procedures, learning procedures, encourage teachers to consider need and understanding of level of strengths, give confidence to the teacher. Advantage of writing nursing care study. It turns client observation to usable data turns opinions to fact, relevant all parties are involved, that means the patient, bystanders, patient, nurse, doc, means the lab. It used number of different research methodology, it can be done remotely, it's inexpensive, it's very accessible to the readers. Strategies to overcome the demerits of lecture method, they include emphasize higher level intellectual skills, signposting for clear directions, Make lectures more interactive, less memorizing of all facts and more construction of meaning. Difference between psychomotor and cognitive domain. This is the most commonly, so cognitive is the most commonly used domain. It deals with the intellectual side of learning. Knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis and evaluation are the six domains of the cognitive domain. Verbs used are define, duplicate, draw, list, categorize and compare. Psychomotor domain is focused on motor skills and connections that require physical coordination. Perception, set guide, response, mechanism, complex overt response, adaptation, and origination are seven domains of psychomotor domain. Align, balance, follow, grabs, hold, place, repeat, etc. are the verbs used for the psychomotor domain. Second is prescriptive counseling and permissive counseling. Prescriptive or directive counseling, otherwise known as the prescriptive counseling, the counselor center. This counselor directs the client to take steps in order to resolve conflict. It is based on assumption that client cannot solve his own problems for lack of information. The counselor plays an important role. He tries to direct the thinking of a counselee by informing, explaining, interpreting and advising. It gives more importance to the intellectual aspect than the emotional aspect. No, permissive, otherwise known as non-directive counseling, it is a client-centered process. In this, the counselee is pivot of the world counseling process. The main function of the counselor is to create an atmosphere in which the client can work out his problem. In this type of counseling, the emotional elements other than the intellectual elements are stressed. Flashcard and final graph. Flashcards are the small cards generally 25 to 30 cm in size, which are shown for a few moments before the class to stand across the message or important idea. 
The message on the cards must be brief to the point. The flashcard are pictures in large enough to group 30 to 50. The use of color is attractive. Number of cards should be 10 to 12 in a set. Flannel graph is also known as a flannel board. It is a storytelling system used the board covered with the flannel fabric, usually resting on a Z. One, one piece of rough textured cloth will adhere or stick to another. Backing material may be wall board, plywood, softwood, heavy cardboard, etc. Rough textured materials that can be used in cotton, flannel, khadi. Any color of flannel may be used, but slightly dark green or blue seems to be better than others. Idealism and Pragmatism Idealism is the fundamental principles our mind and thought are real, outlook is spiritual, believe in the existence of God, ultimately reality is spiritual. Aim of education is self-realization. Method of teaching is questioning, conversation, dialogue, discussion, lecture, book study, discipline. It is unrestricted freedom is not allowed. Emphasize on Emphasis on impressive discipline and self-discipline. Teacher's role is very high, but in pragmatism, still making not read made outlook is social. Universe have created by the man. The aim of education is to dynamic dynamic in nature. Aim of education, social efficiency, adjustment with present and to change the present. Method of teaching include learning by activity, by experimental method, integration and method of correlation. Discipline, restricted freedom and social discipline. Teacher, important role in education. He put a pupil in the position to discover or experiment. He is not to impose anything to the child. He is a friend, philosopher and a guide. He helps the child to solve the problem by himself. Tabulation chart is the... <coughs> Evolution chart is the representation of gradual development of a particular situation or a thing over a period of time. Tabulation chart is a logical representation by the column. It facilitates comparison by bringing related information close to each other and helps the statistical analysis and representation. Thank you.